How do most wealthy people spend their Christmas? I know we cannot really generalize, but you know, I've been invited to Christmas parties of some very wealthy people. And I guess the one word that can describe their parties is this, abundance. There is an abundance of food and drinks. All the food that you'd imagine in an ideal Christmas dinner. Lechon de leche, paella, jamón, queso de bola, macaroni salad, fruit salad, cremo de fruta, leche flan, they'd all be there. And you can eat all you can. There are games galore and you get prizes just for participating in the games and valuable prizes when you win. Money would practically be given away just for the fun of it. And of course, there would be gifts, uh, expensive gifts that people like me can never afford. And having experienced the excitement of taking part in some of these indulgent celebrations, it is so easy to become envious of the rich and to have a desire to be just as rich as they are. Nakakaingit naman talaga eh. Parang ang sarap talaga ng Pasko na mayayaman. It does not help that everything around us seems to tempt us to spend, spend and spend as much as we can during the holidays with Christmas sale galore in every mall, TV advertising prompting us to buy and buy and buy, even so online, puro sale. The Christmas spirit has become almost synonymous to commercialism. And it is curious how Christmas for many wealthy people have practically taking Christ out of the equation. Now, I'm not generalizing. There are many faithful followers of Jesus who are wealthy, who give due honor to the Lord during Christmas. But I've seen wealthy people who may have a Belen display in their home and may be playing proper Christmas carols in their music players. But the way they celebrate Christmas feels more like a pagan feast than they are celebrating the birth. Of the Lord Jesus. It is a good idea for the wealthy to change the way they celebrate Christmas. Rather than spend their money in self-indulgence, how about spending their money in ways that will honor the Lord? The idea is nothing new. Two thousand years ago, a group of wealthy people made a conscious decision to give their precious gifts as an offering to the King of Kings. We find the story of the Magi who, who came from the East to look for the Messiah in the Gospel according to Matthew. After listening to the king, they went on their way, and behold, the star that they had seen when it rose went before them until it came to rest over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced exceedingly with great joy. And going to the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and they fell down and worshipped him. Then, opening their treasures, they offered him gifts, gold and frankincense and myrrh. I'm not saying that the rich should not celebrate Christmas the way they do. You know, they are free to do whatever they want with their money. But it would be a great idea to follow the lead of the Magi. Offer your wealth to glorify the Lord on Christmas. Give gifts to orphans. Uh, throw a party for your underprivileged neighbors. Make a donation to calamity victims who will be spending Christmas in their temporary shelters. Volunteer your time to entertain senior people in the home for the aged. There are many things you can do to make your wealth count for the Lord. And as we learn to offer everything we have for the glory of Jesus our King, let us always keep in mind, faith matters to all.